Okay, so this is just some of the swatches that I have done um, from the palette, and these are gorgeous colors. So I just wanted to show you guys some of the swatches. I did swatch the majority of the shimmers, so that way you guys can see the colors. These are really pretty. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, so today we are going to be reviewing the Morphe Manifest My Palette today. So it's the Morphe 35Y R Escape Palette. Um, so this is the palette we're gonna review today. These are some very beautiful colors. So that's what we're gonna do today. And there's actually a little demonstration in here for you as well. Um, if you do purchase the palette, they will give you this and you can try and create one of their looks that they have sampled on here for you. So I believe that's what I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to do the Manifestor palette, which is look number one. And I believe that is some purple and oranges. So um, we'll go ahead and get into that. And then um, if this is your type of content, sit back, relax. We'll go ahead and test out this eyeshadow palette and then I'll have a review at the end. All right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids and I am going to use, I'm going to use the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, this is what I've been using for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I am in here sweating. Like these studio lights are hot, but it's all good. I hope everybody is doing well. I hope everybody is warm. Where I am located, I think we're probably at like what? 10, 13 degrees, somewhere around there. It's been pretty cold here. And actually, before I go any further, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my hair back because if not, I will be sitting here playing with my hair because I'm not used to wearing it down all the time. So. It'll be like doing all this and I'll be playing with it. So let me just go ahead and put my hair back. Okay. So hair is back. I love this little headband because it's really nice. I like it. All right, so hair is back and then we'll go ahead and get started on the palette. All right, and if you see me looking over here to the side, that's just because I have my products in my basket. So I'm dipping over here to the side to get my products. But yes, we are gonna go ahead and dip into this palette here. Um, and I'm gonna use a couple transition colors here. So um, I believe I'm going to go in with Radiate and Soul Purpose. Actually, I may just mix all three of these here and just put it as my transition color, and then I'll start the look that I was given in the palette. All right, so I'm just gonna dip into all three of these shades here and just put it on my eyelid. Okay, so these are some very pretty colors and they are very pigmented. So that's really good. I like that. You can definitely see them and I've only dipped into it just a little bit, nothing much. So being that that is set, I'm gonna set my palette aside here and I'm going to look at this graph here that they give me. Okay, so it's telling me to go into the color Lucid or Lucid or however you pronounce it, L-U-C-I-D, that's what it's called. And let's see here. So Lucid is this blue color here. So it's telling me to apply that on my outer, like above by my eyebrow bone. Okay, so we're gonna do this. So I'm not a pro at this, 
So I'm just going off of what the sheet says. So we will see how this turns out. You guys see that? It's like a light blue. So let me try it over here, top off the excess. All right, so that's the first color. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm, we'll just trust the process and see how this plays out. Maybe I need to put a little bit more. Let me emphasize it a little bit more and see what happens. Mm, I think this color right here is a little bit chalky for me, but we'll see. All right, so there's that. I'm not gonna go in any more with this color. That's that, okay, so there's that color. All right, the next color is Independence. Okay, so Independence is actually this purple color here. So I don't know if you guys, right there, this color right here. So we're gonna go into that and it's saying like lower. So I'm gonna dip into that, tap off the excess and go like right here with it. Trust the process, right? Okay, so on this, I'm not seeing much of a color payoff on this color. So I guess you gotta press into the color a little bit and apply it on there in order to get a color payoff. Okay, so there's that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do this to the next eye and see what happens. So there's that. So those are those two colors. I actually kind of like it. I like the purple and the little blue, you know, a little pop of color. So it is cute. Um, and then it's saying, let's see here, instant karma. So I'm supposed to put instant karma on my lower eyelid here. So let's see here. Okay, so instant karma, that is the next color next to independence. So this is this color right here. So we're gonna take that darker purple here and apply it on my, um, near my lower lash line it looks like, or in the corner. So I'm just gonna take a little like pencil brush and just dip into it, tap off the excess and yeah. So it looks like it's gonna be like at the outer corner right here. this back way down. All 
So I am not a makeup artist. I'm just doing what the graph says. Um, I'm just playing with makeup. That's what this channel is about, just playing with makeup. And you're just seeing how it, you know, turns out. But I like it, it looks pretty. I like it. I'm just gonna act like this is my eyeliner. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna act like it's my eyeliner. So, just using my pencil brush with that color Instant Karma. What's funny is I was gonna actually put on some um, liquid eyeliner, but being that this is so pigmented, you know, for the color, I'm not gonna do it, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this going here. I will blend out the edges though, like up top, because it is kind of bright, but it's kind of cute at the same time. So let me just go ahead and do the next eye here. Okay, so that is applied. So again, I think that looks really pretty. So that's a pretty color. Um, let's see here, let me see what next. I guess I'll finish up the eyes at the end, like do the lower lash line, apply eyeshadow down there. Cause it's saying enlightened. Okay, oh, it's gonna be pretty. Okay, so check this out. I'm looking at the little display they gave me. So. Um, whenever I finish up my foundation and everything like that, it's saying that I will be taking this color right here, which is Enlightened, um, and it's going to be, you know, the pop of color in my eye right here, in the front of my eye. So it's going to be really pretty. I believe it's all going to pull together. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and all that other stuff, um, but the main focus is on the eyeshadow look, but we'll go ahead and do a face while I'm here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin, set my face. I am using the Milani Make It Last um, primer here, setting spray primer. And then I am going to prime my skin with the um, Professional Primer. I love this stuff, the Benefit Professional Primer. So I am gonna use that. So while that's setting in, I am gonna go ahead and blend out the edges a little bit on my eyelid, cause it is kinda, of, you know, it's kinda of there. Let's see here. Still cute, but just gonna tone it down just a hair. I do my eyebrows. All right. So I did go ahead and blend that out. I don't know, I feel like I'm looking more of like a 70s or 80s type of makeup, but it's cute, I like it, so. Okay, and then for foundation today, I'm gonna use my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop uh, foundation. Um, that's the one I'm using today. Let me shake this up though. Haven't used it in a little while, so we're gonna shake it up. And actually before I do that, I'm still loving my uh, Ciate London Eye Brightener to conceal these dark circles. All right, so now we can go in with the foundation. And I just got done washing all my makeup brushes once again. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. 
And I'm using three pumps. Looks like it was stuck. I'm glad that uh, it didn't squirt out everywhere. All right. Okay, so this looks a little dark for me right now, but we'll trust the process and make it, we're gonna make it work. So there's that. And then as far as concealer goes, I'm still using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer, but I did switch a shade because I am lighter now. Um, so I do have the shade 405 Toffee Caramel. So this is the color that I have. Again, it is a little bit lighter. I think this is going to be perfect to blend out that foundation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take a concealer brush and we're going to go ahead and blend out this foundation here. Concealer, we're going to blend out the concealer, not the foundation. We're going to blend out the concealer. So it does look a little light still, see? It does look a little light, a little light and a little bright, but it's okay. I'm gonna take my foundation brush here in just a few moments and blend that out and hopefully it'll all come together. If it's too light, then I'll take my other shade that I was using and blend those two colors together. So we'll see, but I mean, it still looks good. So we'll see what happens. I mean, it still looks bright, but I ain't mad at it. You know, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not mad at it. And it could be the lights too. It could be the studio lights that are on. So that could possibly be it, but it still looks pretty good. So I blended that out and then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to set the under eyes. Today, I'm switching it up with my setting powder. So I'm going to go old school with it. I'm going to use my Airspun Loose Face Powder. Uh, this was a jam back in the day, so. Use that today. So I'm just dipping my brush into the setting powder itself, tapping off the excess, and then I'm going to blend out my under eye once again. And then immediately set. Or you can just poke your eye out like I just did. I literally just poked my eye doing that. Shame on you if you're laughing. All right, so I did that, and we're gonna do the same thing to the next eye. Okay, so the under eyes are set. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my face as well. So we're gonna go ahead and set the face. This stuff smells so good. I forgot, I haven't used this in a minute, but you gotta show your old makeup some love too. This stuff smells so good. And it doesn't really leave a white cast. I mean, yeah, I see it in like in a little edge of my hair, but nothing big, but like on your face, it's just translucent. So it's really pretty, smooths out everything. All right, so we are going to go ahead and set the face. 
Again, I'm taking my Milani Make It Last uh, primer water, and we're gonna go ahead and set the face here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to bronzer, blush, and highlight. All right, so for today, I am going to use, bear with me, Get, I'm getting into my little basket here of my products. I'm gonna do my Cab Cosmetics bronzer palette. So this is what the colors look like here. And I am just going to dip into probably just the bottom row. Probably just like, just mix them all. All right, so my bronzer is on, and then we're gonna go ahead into the blush. And I'm, I'm using my LA Girl Island Hottie Blush Palette. And again, these are the colors here, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. And I'm just gonna mix pretty much all three of these colors here. And then, let me see here, we are going to, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do highlight and then we'll do lashes, lower lash line, and all that. I'm kind of out of order today, but it's all good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with the highlight. And I am using the Catrice 3D Glow Highlighter. And this one is in the shade Pinch of Rose. This color is so beautiful, guys. Let me show you. So that's the color there. And first, I'm gonna try and do it without spraying my brush. Um, and if it doesn't show, then I'm gonna dip and spray, so. Okay, I do not need to spray my brush. As you can see, that is very, very pigmented. Beautiful color, I love it. We're gonna do the next side. Right, so there's that. I like it. Okay, and then um, we're gonna do the mm, we're gonna do the lashes, and then we'll do the lower um, lashes as well. So I'm gonna apply my lashes. Just gonna use my Kiss Number Eleven lashes. I'm gonna use these here today. So I will be right back. I'm gonna pop these on, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're back. Lashes are on. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, oh, I got a hair in my eye. So I am going to use Independence for my lower lash line. So Independence is that bright purple that I used earlier. Um, so I'm gonna do that and put that on my lower lash line. So give me just a second here. Okay, so this is Independence. So we're gonna use this. So let's do it on the lower lash line. Okay, so I put that on the lower lash line. Um, I don't really see much, you know, color. I do see a little bit, but it's okay. We'll make it work. Um, so there's that. But I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyeliner. And actually, this is actually a lip liner. I said I was gonna use a lip liner because it's color purple. So 
You can use um, lip liners for eyeliners as well because these are creamy and it's not gonna like do any damage or anything like that. It's very soft and creamy. So I'm just gonna use this on the waterline. Okay, so that is applied and it just gives it a little pop of color. And then um, we're gonna go in with mascara and I'm gonna switch it up with mascara. I'm gonna use my Iconic London Mascara. I'm just gonna use that on my lower lashes. Okay, so that is on. And then I am gonna set the rest of my face with my powder, um, just my pressed powder, cause you know, you're supposed to use your translucent powder, your setting powder first, and then whenever that's done, then go in with your uh, pressed powder and apply it to the remainder of your face. So do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then we'll apply the inner corner highlight. So I'm still using the Maybelline Fit Me 332 powder. And I just set under my under eyes first. And then I use the powder brush and just go ahead and set the remainder of my face. Right, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna apply that inner corner highlight. Let me find me another pencil brush here. All right, so again, we're gonna go in with Enlightened. Um, this is the color here, so I'm just gonna put this on here. And it just goes right here. Okay, so I tried applying that, but it did not show. So I'm just going to dip and spray and see if that'll make it pop. So give me just a moment here. So I'm just, you know, spraying it. I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, yeah, you have to spray it. So again, I'm just going to dip and spray and do it on my next eye. And I think that is a very pretty color. So um, let me put a little bit more in here. Okay, so I went ahead and applied that on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really pretty. I like it, it's nice and icy. So, and then we're gonna go ahead and do lips. So I'm just using my, let's see here, NYX Professional Lip Liner, and I am in the color Sand Beige. That's what I'm using today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips here. And then I'm going to use one of these lip glosses, which is the LX Man Beauty. Um, I am in the shade Ibiza. I believe that's the color Ibiza. So it's just like a little lip gloss or whatever. Um, that's what it 
darker, or that's the lighter shade. Let me try the darker shade first, yeah. So I'm gonna use this. I need to do is my eyebrows. I just saved this for last. The reason why I saved it for last, me personally, is because I do my foundations, you know, my powders, all that. So I would like to rather save the brows for last rather than doing them first. Just me. Do what works for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just a little bit. I really need to do my brows. just a little touch up nothing major all right guys this completes the look from the palette and then my you know face of makeup um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend go ahead and get this palette. This palette is beautiful. This is a very pigmented palette. You know, it has all kinds of colors. Um, it's good for all kinds, you know, of, you know, skin tones. I mean, it has a combination of everything in here, you know, and I love the shimmers. It has shimmers and mattes, very good quality. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, go get this. Um, I will be doing another look with this. I might do another couple looks with this. Um, and see what comes out of it. But yeah, it's very, very beautiful palette. I really like the en enlightened color here. It's just so shiny and it just makes it pop. So I really like it. I was kind of worried in the beginning, you know, because of the blues, because it's so light, you know, on my eye, but it really, it really turned out really nice. So yeah, um, purchase this palette guys, go get it. So I will be having more content loading. Um, if you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And I do thank you for stopping by if this is your first time. And for all of my regular subscribers, thank you for, you know, visiting me again. And as always, stay blessed.